Hello there and welcome to part two of a two-part video where I discuss the early development of the Australian blade irons, including the irons I'm playing today, Green Tree Lee Trevino Personal Model. See the link above if you haven't already watched that. Here are the lofts for the clubs as usual. This video was filmed back in the middle of August when courses in the UK were at their driest they've been for a while, so the fairways are bone dry and the grass is the colour of straw. I'll be playing another nine hole bogey match against the course, format shown here, and also keeping the gross score for each hole to look at at the end. I didn't film the opening tee shot, but I hit a decent four iron to leave a seven iron to the green. Which I played to the left fringe. As well as the very dry course, it was also Green's maintenance week. You can probably see the marks on the Greens. I chose Putter from the fringe and rolled it a little bit further than I was expecting. The Greens weren't quite as slow as I thought they might be due to the maintenance work. Left me this for a par, which lipped out off the edge. So, bogey start, but it was a shot hole, so the match remains all square. A little bit of a fumble there. Onto the second hole, shot hole, and I hit an eight iron. The flag was at the front. Decent strike, just slightly pushed, and it finished on the right fringe. Again, I opted for putter. Caught this one quite well. Left me this for a par, which I hold with a shot, net birdie, and that was a win. So one up. And the Litorino personal model, one wood. Hit this one pretty well and with the dry fairways it really ran out and left me uh, quite a way down the fairway. Right, I'm going to do the iron comparison now. So I've got the Lee Trevino and the Australian Blade 5 irons. I'll hit the Lee Trevino first. I've got identical Srixen AD Travel 3 balls. And the Lee Trevino which I've just hit and caught it pretty well. It finished pretty close to the green. A little bit tight down the right, but he got a good bounce. Now the Max Fly Australian Blade. And I caught this one even better. Not all slightly left, but again, favourable bounce. In fact, it was so favourable it ran onto the green. Here's my first ball, which is my scoring ball, and that's a, a little pitch onto the green. Leaves me this put for a birdie, and you can see the max fly ball to the left there. Just run by, leaves me this for a par. No shot, so that's a half, but I thought I'd have a go at the eagle put. Can you believe it? I left it short. And then rushing to make the birdie put, I missed that as well. So fourth hole, one up, driver again. A little bit low and pushed into the right hand rough. And here starts a, a catalogue of disasters. First shot, chopping it out and it's a big push. I'm not sure whether it was even a slight hosel, but over to the right and still in the rough. Here, yeah. going for the flag, but this time I pull it, and where do you think I end up? In the rough again. So this is my fourth shot now. Just trying to chop this out, and that's a, a good description of the shot I played. But it does make the green, even if a long way from the hole. So I'm just looking for a two put here. Decent put. This should be makeable. I've already lost the hole, so no pressure on it. But no, another lip out. So I think that was a triple bogey seven. And the match goes back to all square. One wood again. And again, it's a good strike down the left hand side. Away from all the trouble. 
leaves me 120 yards and I'm hitting a 99 should be a straightforward shot unless you chunk it like that that went very little distance at all in fact less than halfway there so I'm now hitting a sand wedge from 68 yards and this time I do manage to get it onto the green there should be two puts for a, a bogey and a half halved hole the first put this time a little bit weak but short put and that was a terrible miss so that was a three put double bogey I lost the hole and I'm now one down par three seven iron not a best the best connection and it went in the right hand bunker popped it out but a little bit long and it's just gone onto the bank at the back it's a bit of all mean and in trying to decide which club to choose here I went for the pitching wedge and managed to blade it over the back reposition the camera very poorly so you can't see me and you can only just see the hole put it it past the hole and then the return put just missed so that's another treble bogey on to the next hole and I've took three iron and hit this one well and it really took advantage of the dry fairway and ran out to 236 yards on my GPS which left me this pitching wedge which I hit very well and left me with a, a birdie putt well, that was a pretty poor effort but as they say, if you've got two for the win, take them. So that was a par, net birdie, and I win the hole. Back to one down. Eighth hole, par five, no shot. Reasonable strike with my driver. And that left me 263 yards, and I went with the three wood. Caught it well, and it just drew a little bit further left than the, the shot tracer shows. So that left me... Uh, 36 yards on the GPS and I took the pitching wedge bit of a chunk but I got a lucky bounce and finished on the green so this one long put for a birdie I judged the pace well on that one I managed to hold that out for a par no shot so the score remains one down last hole and I have a shot driver again bit of a push but reasonable distance 221 yards left me 151 downhill and hit seven iron caught it really well slightly right and as you can see on the next picture it landed on the front right of the green pretty much stopped straight away so i had another long put but again i've judged that one pretty well so i've got this put for a par net birdie to end the match all square and I'll make it okay at the start a bit of a disaster in the middle and then three parts to finish so not too bad overall in summary then the green tree litrovino irons played really well equally as good as the max fly australian blades in terms of the nine hole bogey match, we finished all square, um, mainly due to the three very poor holes in the middle where I had a, a complete disaster on the fourth, a terrible three put on the fifth and a short game meltdown on the sixth. But I recovered well after that with three consecutive pars. So overall, very enjoyable day and I'll certainly be playing the Lee Trevino irons again in the near future. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.